I love you so much, Gary. And even though I didn't really know you for that long of a time, you touched me so much. I thank you for setting the bar so high. I have the rest of my life to reach it. Other than my actual parents, Gary, you affected my life more than anyone in my whole world. I'll miss you, Gary. I love you. Being in the beauty business for almost 30 years as a person, as Gary, who does hair on real people, uh, it's been an amazing journey of learning how to work with people and have people attracted enough to me that I could build this fantastic career that I've built. And it's not because I was ever the probably the most talented or the smartest, but I realized after a while that attracting people to me meant that I needed to find a way as someone, as I met someone, as I started to work with them, how can I love them enough that by the end of that 45 minutes or that hour and a half that they've fallen in love with me? How can I really care that much about them and how they feel that when they leave they can't imagine they would go anywhere else to get their hair cut? to get their hair colored. And that's what I think that we try really hard to instill in our people and teach in this company. Gary Howe showed me unconditional love and support my entire career. He set a standard as a leader for us all. And it was never, it was really never about yourself. It was always about the salon as a team. It was about Puget Sound Keepers. It was about Siskiyou Mountains. It was about the downtown community. It was about Pike Place Market. It was about different AIDS organizations that we supported. He really raised the standard as a leader. Uh, Gary will be so missed, and there's a hole in my world, as in everyone's, everyone's world that met him, but it lives on. Gary lives on through. Gary lives on. I first met Gary in um, 1979 when I was in the restaurant industry and um, even before I became a hairdresser, Gary's mantra was to be the best and in 1984 when I came to work at Gary Manuel Salon, his inspiration, his everything about him was just take a risk, 
Take a chance and be the best you can. Gary, I know you love that I'm happy all the time and I'm so, in your words, very loud and vivacious. Um, I sent you a text, you were already gone, but I sent you a text because that's how we communicate. Um, and what I said in that text, and I hope somehow you got it, is that I love you and that you push me every day to be a better person. And that I promise, I promise to you, I will make sure that the shelves are dusted, <laughs> that the front mats are always sweeped, that we always have umbrella covers, that the shelves are stocked, and that the people here feel loved and cared for and happy always. I promise. I think the greatest gift that Gary gave me was the act of giving back. Remembering to give back to our community, the environment, each other, and our guests. He always said that when you give a little bit, you would get a lot in return. And he was right. And for that gift, I am forever grateful. In my 21 plus years at Gary Manuel, one of the things I always looked forward to was Gary Howes in front of a room. Whether it was a staff meeting, a warm welcome at the Aveda Institute, one of our retreats, or uh, on stage in front of thousands of people, you knew he was assured to captivate his audience. He would be profound, insightful, often humorous, and once in a while inappropriate, uh, but he was always inspirational and memorable. The man was memorable. Uh, even in his conversations with his guests, I was always in awe of his depth of knowledge, the way he found a unique way to bond with each client and give them a one-of-a-kind experience. Um, Gary has been extremely impactful in my life, in the lives of our Gary Manuel family, the community, and when you think about his philanthropic efforts with Earth Month, in fact, the world, uh, G-Man, you will be terribly missed, often thought of, and uh, always celebrated. Gary's true legacy? Everyone who knew him was inspired to be a better person. That's it. That's the most important thing. My, uh... My most impactful thing was when he called me after not making it through boot camp. And he called me at 5 a.m. after I texted him and said, I hope you're not disappointed in me for not making it. And he said that, he said that the thing that, if it's not hard, you shouldn't go for it. And um, he said that he knew I'd make it. And that one thing that he knew about me was that I maybe didn't get it on the first time, but I definitely get it on the ninth time. And that was a joke about a short graduated haircut. And so to me, I think that that's what summed it up with him was that he said his greatest thing for him that made him really proud was to develop a team and to develop each employee to hit their dreams. And when I hit my dream of becoming a professional, I think all I have had is dreams of text of how proud he is of me. And so I think that that's what he did for us. <sighs> Gary, this is one of the hardest things. Just, just say goodbye. Um, I remember the first day I met you at beauty school. You changed my world. <sighs> there will never be another. That's it. Like. <laughs> what impact did Gary House have on me? I know that's a question everyone's struggling to answer in two minutes or less. And all I can say is love, respect, and excellence. And I never met anyone better at building relationships quickly than Gary House. I thought I wasn't bad at it until I met him. So I really consider it time with a master and I'll never forget those times. And I know everyone that sees this will share the same sentiment as me, which is every conversation, every piece of advice, every 
conversation on text even had an impact. I've never seen anyone reach out and make an impact through a simple text in Gary House. And what I learned the most from him was the importance of those relationships in your life and really love. And I think, you know, finding a way to love even the most difficult people that cross your path is just an unending gift. And I'll always love you for that, Gary, and I'll always thank you. And I couldn't have been more blessed to spend time with you. And I know I'm not alone in this world of people that you touched, but just know that it will never end. And the name Gary Manuel on the door will still stand forever and no one will forget your legacy. Gary taught me the two most important things, and they were be nice and make a difference. That's why I think it's important that we carry on his legacy of excellence and just making people feel good. Hey Gary, it's Colleen. And uh, first thing, I'm super annoyed that you're gone. It was not in our plan. And I wish you were here and I wasn't having to talk to you through this lens. I, I miss you as a friend, most of all. I, I miss you as someone who I've grown up with and lived my life with, with my husband and my children. And um, I'm really sad that you're not gonna be here for us any longer. Uh, you have been part of our lives for so long that I don't really know what to do without you. Um, you're always in my thoughts, you're always there, and even when you're not physically here in Seattle, we always know where you're at and uh, what you're doing. I'm so grateful that we spent the time with you in New York. It was the most fabulous trip we've had. It was, your wedding was unbelievable. The whole weekend was magical. And thank you again for letting us be part of that. Uh, we all miss you greatly and will continue to do so for a very long time. And thanks so much for being with us. Thanks so much for being Manuel's partner and my dear friend for 30 years, and um, I miss you. Gary Housie was above all a wonderful human being and a beautiful spirit. Gary's impact on myself personally is also deep and impactful, uh, inspiring. Uh, I looked up to Gary as a, uh, as a true model of excellence at every level, as a hairstylist, uh, as a mentor, a teacher, as an inspirational figure. Uh, Gary was a tremendous influence in my, uh, in my life and uh, I will deeply miss him. Uh, but I'm also grateful for all that he's brought, all that he's done, and that I was fortunate enough um, to, to become part of uh, the Gary Manuel and Gary's life. Uh, I'm deeply grateful and I'm, I'm humbled uh, by that opportunity. Uh, the impact that Gary, uh, Gary's had on our industry and will continue to have will resonate for generations. His, uh, his spirit will soar, his work will continue to live on, and uh, we are all in a better place because, because Gary brought his best each and every day. Hi, my name is Ricardo Dennis, and I'm Aveda's Global Artistic Director for Haircutting. The first time I visited the Gary Manuel Institute, I was met by the most loving, caring group of students I'd ever encountered in my career. I found myself questioning the experience and thinking, how is this possible? This can't be real. They must have somehow bribed the students into making me feel welcome, and I have to say it worked. And then I met Gary, and I understood how all of this was possible. Gary's passion and love is so contagious that within a few short moments of spending time with them, I found those same emotions starting to stir inside of me. You can tell how special Gary is just by hearing how people spoke of him. The staff and students spoke about Gary not as a boss, but as a leader, an inspiration, a mentor, and a friend. They must have needed the very best hairdressers in heaven because with Gary that's what they have. Gary's passion and love shall live through the hands of each one of his students and every single person that they touch. 
For this, Gary, I thank you with all my heart. Thank you. I feel like it would be remiss to trivialize the loss I feel right now. Gary saved my life. Gary picked me up when I was homeless and he gave me a trade and he gave me a home to live in. I am now better because of Gary House and I will truly miss him. You want to talk about Marge? You can tell stories. Just do it. Maybe. Oh, yeah, I could tell the story. You can use it if you want. Um, years ago, I spent a lot of time going to massage therapists because when you're a hairdresser for a long time, there's always something wrong with your body. And I was always going from this massage therapist to that one, to that one, to that one. And I have to say at the end, I could have good experiences, but never the kind of experiences that when I left, I rebooked with that person until this one day and I, I went to this place that I had, was used to going to and I got just randomly um, Marge and Marge did the beginning of the massage pretty much like everyone always does and I was one of those crazy people that when I'm, someone's working on me I think I love you, I hate you, I love you, I hate you, you know, the whole time thinking, am I going to come back? Am I not going to come back? Am I going to come back? So, and I'm sure I did that with Marge too, but we got to the very end of the massage and she sort of stepped away and she said, uh, would you like a body blessing? And I thought, oh God. And that good Gary part said, okay, even though I meant this is weird and I don't think I'm going to like this at all. And she started and she went to my feet and she sort of didn't quite touched them, but sort of put her hands around them and said, you know, bless this man's feet for they're the foundation of his entire life. And she worked her way up and said, you know, profound statements as she worked up my body. And then she got to my hands and she, uh, this was my favorite part. She said, um, bless his hands for they bring to the world all things beautiful. And I started to cry. And she got to my head and she stepped back and she said, mother and father of the universe, I present to you your beautiful son, Gary. And she took her hands away and I thought, what the hell just happened to me? And she left <clears throat> and I put my clothes on and I went up to the front desk and I said, I would like to see Marge every two weeks for the rest of my life. And they laughed and I laughed and I did until Marge retired. And I'll never forget that day we got to the end of the massage and the body blessing and she told me she was retiring and then we both cried. And I never really have ever found Marge as a massage therapist before, but I spent a lot of time thinking about what does this mean to me in my business and what I do for people. And what I decided was that Marge had found a way through something very simple to show me that she loved me, that she really was there for me and that she was there to help me. And that I could do that in my business too. So I've really used, I call it the Marge lesson every day of my career to try to be that person to my guest, to try to be that person to my employees, to try to be that person to our students.
My real dad taught me how to become a man. Gary House taught me to become a better man. Just being around him, his presence, his energy, it made me think less of this and started to make me think more about that. I love you, G House. I'll miss you forever. Whose house? G's house. Peace.